Hey there, everyone. Bobby D here with Heart of the Gala podcast, and I have a very special guest with me today. Uh, I like to call him my friend, uh, one of my confidants, uh, one of my auctioneers, and uh, yeah, I'm here to uh, to kind of interview him and, and learn a little bit more about you. Uh, friends, here's Dusty Clink, auctioneer. Well, thank you, Bobby. That's uh, that's an amazing introduction. I appreciate that. Well, so Dusty, we've been we've known each other for you know a couple of years now, mm -hmm. and you've been in, involved with a lot of our events. You've hosted yep. a lot of auctions on your own. Mm -hmm. um, why do you, you want to be a fundraising <laughs> auctioneer? <laughs> I know, right? Um, so I, I I used to be a country singer, uh, so you know I I had that experience. Very fun, uh, loved it, but uh, you know, for the family life thing, it's, it's not maybe the best, right. you know, I'm traveling, a lot. yeah, a lot. Yeah. And uh, so then I stepped back from that and uh, then I did, you know, more regional kind of stuff and and uh, and I love being on stage. I love the energy that comes from people. And, um, and you know, I had performed as a country singer at some, you know, charity fundraising events mm -hmm. and, <clears throat> and I always thought, well, that's kind of cool, you know. Well, th that's really neat. I, yeah. I would kind of like to be a part of that side, mm -hmm. and so I ended up going to auction school back in I don't know, like 2016 or something like that, and didn't know what I was going to do with that. Didn't know how to get involved with you know fundraising auctions, um, and then I was actually told at uh, uh, at auction school that oh yeah, and you just need to go out there and do fundraising events in order to get enough experience so you can go out and do other stuff. Hmm. I was like, hmm, okay. Well, I don't know about that because, I mean, some of these guys are really good, right? Yeah. So uh, then, you know, fast forward a few more years, and I happened to join the NAA, mm -hmm. went through that, went to one of their um, benefit auction uh, uh, specialist classes. Mm -hmm. And I thought, oh my gosh, this is for me. Like there's, there's like uh, the people in the room, the other auctioneers, uh, what they were talking about, everything just aligned with what I wanted to do and how I wanted to do it. And I wanted to be a part of something that was good and generating good. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, here I am uh, down the road a little bit further. And I have to say it has been, uh, you know, the ability to work with you uh, at these auctions, uh, not only to watch what you do, but also, you know, to feel the energy in the room that comes from that, um, that, that giving, that, you know, the donors that are involved and the passion that these uh, organizations, you know, their donors have towards these organizations. Mm -hmm. It's incredible. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, that, and, and even even in the school arena, you know, you see that people are paying an, an obscene amount for a, a parking spot, right? Right? That they're gonna park in for maybe 10 minutes while they let their kids, uh, you know, while they drop their kid off. But to see that that money is going to fund all of these different events and to help that organization or that school be able to provide the education or the needs and the benefits um, that come off of, of that generous giving, you know, that's the part that really makes me go, oh man, I want to do this next weekend. I want to do this again. What, what about tomorrow? Can, can we get, you know? So um, I think being a part of that, of that fundraising experience is really, um, it, the energy that comes off of that is, is so uh, special. Nice. Um, and, uh, and yeah, and, you know, helping organizations, uh, really fund their purpose, whatever that may be. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, I think that was, uh, that was the long answer, uh, to the question. <laughs> so, so then let me ask what type of organizations, uh, are your, I guess your favorite, what type of organizations sure. do you have affinity to, or maybe have experience with, there's something that you are really truly connected to, uh, that you can, you can, you know, speak their language and speak sure. the truth within that. Sure. Uh, well, you know, I would say my daughter's a kindergartner. Mm -hmm. So schools for me and education for children, I think that's a very huge thing. Also, when I became a dad, I, uh, I realized that I, um, uh, I just really, the ability to help kids in any capacity, mm -hmm. uh, whether that's 
um, you know, kids fighting a, a, a disease, uh, whether that's uh, education, um, you know, just additional programs in school, maybe mm -hmm. that's holds funding. And, uh, and, you know, to be able to see the growth uh, in a child and, uh, and to be able to give them those experiences, I think that has uh, been the greatest gift for, for me uh, as a person is my daughter. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's just unbelievable. And uh, so, you know, to be able to help kids in any capacity, I think that's a big one for me. Uh, pets, I, I love, uh, I mean, my dog, um, you know, I, uh, um, I ended up getting a dog and he changed my life. Mm -hmm. Like I was like 20 something years old and, um, and, you know, this dog, he was just this big, burly, kind of, you know, messy dog. And, and I was always, you know, like, uh, not into, you know, messes and stuff like that. All the, you know, I was like, okay, you know, smelly dog. But this smelly dog came into my life and, um, and, and really just changed uh, my complete outlook. So I know how transformational a dog or a pet or, you know, something, uh, you know, can be in someone's life. And, um, and for me, it was a huge change and uh, it made me, uh, you know, go, okay, well, you know, it's okay that things are dirty, as, but this dog is like, I love him. I mean, he's just amazing. Yeah. And um, uh, and then I watched him age and going into the senior uh, area of life. And that was heartbreaking, but also you have to have a different level of compassion for that too, mm -hmm. right? You know, and to see how that goes and that progression. So, um, you know, not forgetting your senior dogs. I, I know that um, uh, that you're working with an organization mm -hmm. right now, and and I was like, wow, that is great. I mean, what a great cause in order to help senior dogs through that yeah. process. Yeah. Uh, so that was really neat, and um, and then I really do uh, like music, of course. Yeah. So yeah. arts and music. Yeah, arts and music. That's a big thing for me too. So, oh, nice. uh, yeah, I would say I would say those are maybe the like the top three. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I like that. What are your, like, what are your favorite things that happen at a fundraising event, or what are some experiences that you've noticed that have really, mm. you know, touched your heart, or really, you know, really made you happy? You're like, wow, that that was really amazing. Um, some of it is the story. Mm hmm. Right. Uh, and, and the placement of that story, and now, I, now I've now i found out, it's like, okay, the placement of the story is a really important thing. Right? Oh, yeah. And, uh, but kind of seeing how it can be lively in the audience, and then all of a sudden, when the story starts to happen, mm. and there's this kind of calm, and people get attentive, and they are really into it. And when they, you call it a goosebump moment, mm -hmm. um, but... Uh, when that kind of comes over the whole audience is uh, is a unique thing. Yeah. And when done right, and then to see the response of that and what happens when the uh, story is done and that and that pause and that um, you know, ask then. And then to see the generosity that starts coming from yeah. that. It's incredible. Yeah. yeah. Right? And um, and then 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 comes more goosebump moments, right? And it's like, oh my gosh, a fifty thousand dollar donor! Oh my gosh, another fifty thousand dollar donor! I mean, that's incredible. And then to see that some of those donors will give it multiple levels, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, that uh, that's that's pretty magical. The the other thing I think that's pretty exciting is the live auction and to see how into it some people get. To it. Mm -hmm. That is that is great. Uh, you know, just the other day, I, we were selling, uh, you were selling an item uh, that this, this lady and I was, I was out on the floor and she was like, oh my gosh, I want this item so bad. Mm -hmm. And, um, and then when it passed over her and went to a higher number that she wasn't willing to go past, and then there was the multiple opportunity that came after that. And that multiple opportunity got her back into the game. Her excitement level at that point was just through the roof, and uh, and that was that was a pretty cool moment. Right on. Uh, so you know you've done quite a few auctions for us already. Uh, what are some of the clients saying? You know, after you're working with them, like after you go and create this electric experience, like you were saying, like what are what are some of the clients saying? Oh boy, 
that's kind of toot your own horn. That's a, that's a tough. That's a tough question. Right? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, uh, the the level of excitement, right? Mm-hmm. That's that's something a little bit different uh, mm-hmm. than some. Some people have that level of excitement, and some people just don't. And, right. and it's a different technique. It's a different thing. Um, having, I like to be engaging with the audience, not just getting their paddle up, but also to know that when somebody is spending, and even if you're selling a lower item, you know, like let's say they're at a hundred bucks, right? But to praise that at a level where it's like, you know, yeah, hundred dollars, you know, yeah. and uh, and that because everybody's bidding, you know, at whatever level that they're that they're going to be at, and whatever item that they want to be at, and to see that uh, level of involvement and excitement, um, that has been that that's been really good, and I think that has been the thing that both um, the last couple of auctions, um, or I should say. That has been the trend of, uh, of of what people are saying is, uh-huh. hey, your level of excitement at the auction was a lot higher than what we have experienced mm-hmm. before. And that really did help people. Um, yeah, it, it catapulted those bids up a little bit, yeah. right? Yeah. And, um, and then with some of the consultation that comes along beforehand, mm-hmm. um, you know, there was that one that they three times their previous year. Yeah. That was incredible. Yeah. You know, yeah. and so, uh, you know, part of that is the consultation beforehand, but then the other part in, in offering some of those uh, other revenue generators and offering, um, you know, the, the paddle raise and offering, you know, just some of the other items, some of the other things and uh, seeing that. And her excitement level when it came to three times that yep. was that was that was incredible. You know that phone yep. call was was a great phone call. Yeah, yep. <laughs> yep. yep. uh, a lot of things that that uh, feedback that I get, uh, you know, on you know being the lead auctioneer uh-huh. and, the, and the and the founder, is that uh, one individual had said like we're never going to look for another auctioneer ever. <laughs> so there they said they found their auctioneer and they're and they're very happy. Uh, some people have been saying that you're the best auctioneer that they've ever seen, uh-huh. which is is great to hear for me and you know and for you as well and. And uh, there's uh, many, many different organizations that are out there. Yeah. And I believe that we're able to help the organizations at the time they're they're ready to be helped. Right. So I think, friends, if you're out there and you're looking for a great auctioneer and you want someone to help represent you, uh, Dusty Clink is, uh, is, is that man for the job, I think. Well, thank you. Well, I know that. All right. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> thank you um, so much. Dusty, any last words of advice for our, our nonprofit friends that are watching oh, and listening? Oh, boy. Um, you know, I would just say, keep on with it. I mean, the work that the nonprofit friends are doing out there is truly magical and it's changing lives. And if I can just be a small part of that, um, even if it's, you know, the, the one night, maybe some consultation beforehand, um, and, you know, trying to uh, also go from there and, and, and how can we do it even better? You know, and, and how can we grow on this and make mm-hmm. it bigger? But, you know, I would say for nonprofits, I mean, just keep on the good fight, right? Yeah. I mean, it's good. It's hard. But um, but if I could be just a little bit uh, of that success, I would, that would be amazing. Awesome. All right. Well, friends, uh, Dusty Clink Auctioneer, uh, a- available all over the United States, able to help you. Uh, you can uh, check them out, dustyclink.com, or you can find them on our website called auction.com. And uh, we're we're excited to get you out there into the world and, and help you to uh, to raise some money and, and help these nonprofits like those that are watching. So <laughs> nonprofit friends, thank you so much for spending some time with us today, uh, learning a little bit about Dusty and his passion for fundraising. Please reach out if you, you do need some help and you do want to work with Dusty. We're more than happy to help you on that. And thank you for all the hard work Work that you're doing and putting the time and the dedication and the energy and the focus into making your fundraising event better. You investing time with us really proves that and that you want to make your event better. That's what we want. We want to make your event better. So let's make your event better. Let's raise some more money and let's make a bigger impact in the world together. Sound good? Sound good. All right. Well, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Uh, please thumbs up, review, subscribe, do all of those awesome things and stay tuned for us next time right here on Heart of the Gala podcast. 